there is left the last move that we should explore here, the f6 move. Here we have two moves, c4 and the e f6. I recommend you to play this one, e f6. Now black should take on e2, otherwise if they play knight f6, letting us ourselves to take to change the queen and at the same time uh, develop their bishop, uh, we don't do it. After knight f6 we have strong move bishop e3, uh, avoiding changing the queens. And next moves are easy knight c3 or even knight d2, long castle, and putting pressure here because for black king it's very hard to go somewhere. If he go long side, there is a uh, position is weak. And the same if he go short uh, here, h4, the pawn is already here, h4, h5, well, or g4, we are ready for attack here. And if after knight f6, bishop e3, black plays and d5, then we play rook h3 strong move against use again using this h4 move. Now knight e3, of course not possible. Uh, rook e3 and losing the uh, the queen. And if d6 uh, opening the bishop, uh, now we have uh, rook g3 move. Rook is staying on g3 very well. Again, knight g3 is not possible, and the main problem of black is uh, king. Now our king is safe after knight d2 long castle. He's safe here, while opponent king is hard to go somewhere. Again, the same thing. Long castle, it's hard because there is weak everything, and if short castle, our rook on g3, bishop on e3, and h4 pawn, he will go to h5, everything is ready for creating a fast attack. So for white, for, sorry, for black it's better after e6 to take uh, e2 to change the queens. Queen e2, bishop e2 we take, knight f6, and here we play knight c3. It's a little bit uh, pleasure ending for us, we can move h5, h6, we can play bishop e3, long castle, rook uh, he1. The thing here is that while we have just two islands, one is here, second is here, black has three, one, two, uh, three, and uh, especially in rook endings, this a7 pawn will feel very weak, very often rook h3, rook a3, and black will lose this a7 pawn. So it's very easy play uh, here for white. I recommend you to go to this position. If black plays somewhere d5, opening uh, the bishop on c8 and fighting for the center, then bishop e3, long castle, and very often we'll have knight a4 move blocking here, then knight c5 or bishop c5. Rook will come uh, from h1 to e1 game. After knight a4, it will be also possible somewhere c4 move. Oh, it's a little bit uh, better ending for white, so I recommend after f6 to take a f6. However, after f6, I believe that c4 move is not just stronger, but also it's very romantic and tricky lines there. It's a bit complicated, so I keep it in advanced video course. And if you are a pre pro member, you should definitely go and look there. I, uh, my advice is, if you are a pro member, not to take f6 and go to c4, because it's so nice games you can have after c4 move. Uh, and uh, the booming uh, post that you may see in the social platform uh, was after c4 move. And it was after the line bishop a6, rook h3, rook is going to a3. And uh, the long castle move, because of this move, it's uh, in the right, right this moment in the theory, because of this long castle move, black is fine. Because white plays rook a3, uh, attacking the bishop, but the black plays knight b4. And after rook a4, black plays queen e5. And the thing here after queen e5, queen take, and we don't have time for a3 because of this knight c2. However, instead of rook a3 move with gm sam, we found a very strong novelty here. Queen e4 move, this everything I will show in the advanced video course. Queen e4 and idea here is that now we want to take the knight already. And after a knight b6 move, we play c5. Here is the thing. Now both pieces are hanging a6 and b6. Of course, queen c5 is not possible. Bishop a6. 
and Plex plays bishop f e4, c b6, uh, bishop should go back, otherwise if some move like uh, a b6 or c b6, king f1 simple, bishop a6 and b a7. So it was this position when I posted in uh, Facebook and I asked her, can you guess how it's possible on the 14 move to have a pawn on a7? And it was very interesting that no one could imagine how it's possible. Uh, the next photo that you may see it's also from here is this position that after queen b4 we have this king d1 amazing move. Uh, instead of taking queen b4 we play king d1 very strong move and black is in big trouble because king uh, queen e4 is not possible because a8 queen and checkmate and king b7 is also not possible because of rook b3 and they are losing a queen this is just amazing position when i first time saw it queen b4 king d1 i was amazed what is this so uh, this is the thing queen e4 it's complicated lines also there is move queen c5 uh, idea that uh, black is also pinning here the bishop on c1 so cd5 is not possible but we play here knight d2 knight b6 and there is another very strong move b4 and some interesting lines like queen b4 c5 same thing now three pieces are hanging queen bishop and knight and after queen e4 knight e4 the only move is bishop f1 king f1 we play knight d5 rook b1 next move rook h b3 is coming and after f5 there is two moves rook a3 and rook h b3 both are very interesting as this everything is analyzed in advanced video course however if you are not a pro member and by some reason you don't want to become it after f6 i recommend just simply take on f6 and play a better end games